Hey guys, Kali here again with another tutorial about the pre-event. Of course, what else? Because it's the only content we have at the moment to provide you with some decent information. The thing I want to talk to you about is how to optimize the pre-event so we can do it as fast as possible in such a short amount of time. Yeah, I think that's the point of this video. The event at the moment is every 90 minutes we're getting in one of the out of the three zones, we're going to get an event. Yeah, that will actually grant us 1500 um, of the memories. Taking into consideration, you do it on alts. Yeah, but there is one big thing I want to mention here. And I think that's a pretty uh, big advantage you're going to have. Like, as you can see here at the moment, I have... Let me check really fast. I have 11,437 of these regi residual memories. I will never be able to, to pronounce that in one more, in one try. So basically, why haven't I spent these? There is one big reason for it. First of all, I want to have the mount, of course. And the mount is only 20k, so I'm pretty close to it. I think even I'm going to get it today. But... Many people want to transmogs or want to gear up their alts. Yeah. But instead of spending all your memories immediately, even if you don't want the mount, because there are people that say, F the mount, we don't want the mount, we just want to buy the gear, save these up for at least, let us say, I'm not going to say the last week of the event because you most likely want to play but at least for a few days or maybe an entire week. Why is that? I'm going to show it to you, but for that, I need to go to my bank for the next part of this explanation. So the reason I te I'm telling you do not spend them straight away is this. I put them in my war bank, war band bank already. Are these items here? As you can see, I already got one, two, three, four, five. This is a value of 10,000 memories, guys. They are random, I know that, so there is RNG involved in this. Sadly enough, Blizzard and RNG is a good combination, apparently. So, but what did I got here? For example, I got a male wrist and a male waist. I'm gonna use this on my Shaman. I got a plate wrist. I'm gonna use that on my Warrior. I got a two-handed intellect mace. I'm not sure on what character I'm going to use it. But I have it available. And I got a one-handed intellect sword here as well. So, if you follow my suggestions, in one week, I can guarantee you almost, because these drop fairly often. As you can see here, I got one, two, three, four, five in. And I did five events, basically. So I did around, yeah, let me think, three, four, five. Yeah, I did five events so far. So in five events, I managed to get 11,437 of these beauties and five of these items and then the memories as well to get the heirloom ring. If you are about to spend all your memories straight away, you most likely going to get doubles here. And that's just a waste of your time. And that's basically wasting over an hour and a half of waiting time, maybe at the end. So just save up everything. Do your events. And let us say in one week, or even if you can wait longer, maybe you just want to gear up an alt just to make it easier in the leveling process when the war within goes live. That actually means you're going to have a huge benefit or a huge advantage if you use this method. I know it's hard to not buy all the new goodies, but if you can stick to it, because trinkets, weapons, every single slot in this um, event is covered, and I think this is the best approach to it. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in my next gold farming video or in my next tutorial. Bye-bye. Happy hunting.